And Keith joins us now. Keith, it's Michael and Peter. How are you today? I'm great, guys. How are you? Doing okay. Well, you made, you made a little news yesterday. Did you think that what you said during the broadcast would be received as uh, as intensely as it's been received? Uh, well, the Twitter world is uh, is uh, very excitable. That's for sure. Uh, I you know I don't really feel that I said anything wrong. I feel I feel firmly about what I said. I, I know that you uh, were very. Uh, vehement about how it doesn't belong in the game. Okay, fine. I know the game has changed a little bit. I didn't think the pitch was that bad when I saw it. I mean, I draw the line, and I made it perfectly clear in the broadcast that I um, I draw the line on head hunting, anything from the neck up, or a pitcher that throws at someone with the intent to hurt. And uh, I just looked at the pitch, and it started out on the inside corner and ran in and was waist high. Uh, whether he did it on purpose or not, only Iranian knows. Um, I just didn't think, uh, you know, there was just, he's been in such a hot streak. He's such a fine player, and the home run streak he's on, and what he did to the Marlins the first three games, you know, I'm, I'm from a different generation. I know that if I had been in, a, in his shoes and on that kind of a streak, I tell you what, after my second home run going into a third game, I would be able to play very, very, very my first at bat. It's interesting. Joe Madden of the Cubs was uh, was just interviewed, Keith, and he said there's a Neanderthal aspect to our sport that has to change. Do you agree with that? Okay. Well, everybody has their opinion, and they're entitled to their opinion. I disagree. There's very few circumstances where something like this uh, comes about. And um, what are you going to do? The pitchers out there making a living, um, they're getting there. They're getting the killed, and um, the first three games, and you know, you're Rando, you know, the Marlins are in last place. We all have heard why the mother in last place. So what do you want the last place team to do? Lay down and die or be competitive? And I just, I don't have an issue with it. And that's just my opinion. And, um, well, that's, that's sort of the most interesting team. part, Keith, is that I, I, I find I, I disagreed with some aspects of your opinion, but I just don't understand why people freak out. People act as if you made you decided to jump on the air and just give out your um, religious beliefs and, 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 and tear down other people's religious beliefs. It's a it's a it's a feeling you have on the game. I just don't under everything these days, especially with Twitter, you just get so shouted down. So uh, in 24 hours, they will have moved on and started shouting down someone else. Well, I, whatever. Uh, I, I can take it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to back down on what I said. I, I, I feel strongly about it. Look, I've been thrown at, and uh, I found out because of Twitter that I got hit 32 times in my career. And that doesn't even say how many times. A whole lot more where I dodged. I dodged a bullet, and wound up on my back, and then avoided getting hit. Um, it, it was just uh, part of the game, and I always felt that. If they were throwing at me, A, it was always the one rule. If you throw at their best hitter, they'll throw at your best hitter. And if it was me, you know, then I, they consider me the best hitter on the team, great. And if pitcher hit me, I always said, okay. I'll, I never charged the mound, which I thought Acuna handled it beautifully. He did not charge the mound. He handled it totally professionally. I was so impressed with that. And, um, you know, when I got hit, I, I would say, okay, fine. I uh, went to first base, and I said, okay, I, I'll remember that, and I'm going to get you the rest of my career. Now, I, I, I certainly don't want to belabor this because we've got other things we want to talk about. I'm just wondering, the way it's been received, and it's been such a hot-button issue in this, in the baseball world, do you, do you wish that you hadn't said it, or are you cool that you said it? I am perfectly fine. I'm not going to back down from it, and, uh, you know, they can scream and yell and holler all they want. Uh, I'm entitled to my opinion. I certainly was very clear. I don't want anybody hurt. I thought it was perfectly fair pitch. And really, you can make an argument, if you look at the video, that the pitch could have got away from him. Only your Uranian knows. It started out, usually when you hit someone, you started out behind his butt. Because the first reaction of, of, of a hitter is to back away, and he backs right into the pitch. The pitch started off uh, a couple of inches inside, and it ran in and got him. And if, you know, if Acuna didn't drop his elbow, the ball would have hit him in the small of his back or, the, or, the, or, or in his side. And if you're throwing there, to me, that's fair game. But, you know, I played in a different era, and, I, you know, I've read some of the tweets from 
theirs, and they're from a different generation, and I'm fine with it. Jose Bautista just had a grand slam to give the Mets a 10-run oh, fifth oh. inning. The Phillies have made four errors. They're just playing a horrible game. Do you see it? Uh, in, the, in the games I've been able to watch, Keith, I, I think they're playing better. I, I don't know if the pressure has been released for some reason. Are you seeing a team that's playing a little bit better? Well, they're a lot looser. You know, when you got... When you're not, when the games aren't important, you know the second half now. There's, there, the games aren't really aren't important. It does take a lot of load off, but still, we got a lot of young players out there that are getting a look, and that's how I look at it. You know, this team is going to be in transition. Um, we'll see what happens next year. Bruce will probably come back. Uh, is he going to? Is he going to have a normal year? How much did that hip bother him? Uh, Cespedes, he'll be back in the middle of June. You know. I saw the x-rays on his heel. He actually had a bone fragment that broke off on his heel, and they had to to reconfigure that heel. So it had to bothering him, and we know what he can do. Uh, Conforto has been the big question mark. I, just, uh, I can't figure that out, uh, why he has been had such an unproductive year. Uh, but, you know, it's all growing pains. He's still relatively young. We'll see what happens. You know, the, the, a lot of people have written, I, Kevin Kern of the Post is one of them, that he could see uh, Ahmed Rosario being the leadoff guy all next year and, you know, maybe even play him in the outfield. Do you look at him as a shortstop or an outfielder, and could he be a leadoff guy? Well, I don't know about outfield because I've never seen him play the outfield. He's always played shortstop, and, uh, uh, you know, he does an adequate job there. Uh, he's got to learn a little more discipline, play discipline. He's hitting 238. I can see him leading off. I like Nemo up in the top of the order. Uh, he's not a middle-of-the-order guy, and he's... He really had a good day yesterday in Baltimore, hitting line drives all over the field, sprayed him all over the field from left field over to the to down the right field line on this five hit game he had. And he's fast, he's a left hand hitter. I can see Rosario leading off and Nemo hitting second. Do you worry about Nemo got hit today and had to leave the game? X rays are negative. Yep. He gets hit a lot, Keith, and he, he dives in and I don't think he minds being hit, but do you worry about his long term ability to stay on the field if that happens? No, he's a tough kid. This one was a serious one. He had two strikes on him with the left-hander who was throwing a ball that runs in to left-handers. And uh, it just ran in and hit him while he was trying to check his swing. So this was a real legitimate hit by Pitts. I mean, it, he did have to be painful. But uh, he's leaned over he's, uh, uh, and tries to get hit sometimes. He's actually been called back twice this season after hit by pitches. The umpire negated the hit by pitches. All right, before we let you go, who's the Cy Young winner, DeGrom or Scherzer? Oh, gosh. DeGrom's got to put together a, a string of, uh, like Wheeler did, it's went around six, six, seven in a row. He, what's he got, ten starts left? Something like that. Maybe eight, yeah. He's got yeah, he's got to put a string together uh, to make it work. And it looks like, you know, it looks like the Nationals have problems. Something's going wrong there with that team. And I don't know what it is, but they've got issues. So I don't know. It's a tough one. It's a, and I know that wins aren't as important today at court with the new analytics. No, oh, I think they are. But uh, we'll see what they both had terrific years. Keith, very cool of you to answer the questions today. Obviously, you're a man who stands behind what you say, and you'll be on SNY tonight. Mets, Phillies, the second game of the doubleheader. And it looks like coverage will start at about 7.05. So we always appreciate you giving us some time, Keith. All right, Michael. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.